What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking to you guys all about upper control arms. So I have Hugo with me. You guys have seen him before in our suspension videos. He's the genius that knows everything about everything that has to do with suspension. So in front of us, we have a bunch of upper control arms that vary from prices to strength to usage and we're gonna go through all of it with you guys. So let's begin. So Hugo, um, do you want to start over here with the SPCs? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So SPC upper control arm, it's the most popular upper control arm for Toyotas at this point. The reason why is because adjustability, uh, especially for all these friends that are, you know, using um, larger tires or they wanna bring their alignment back to spec. Okay. This is the perfect upper control arm. Uh, the reason why is because the special pattern that SPC has, you can technically <coughs> adjust the ball joint accordingly so you can fix your caster and camber at the same time so very cool the, yeah this way the alignment technician doesn't have to fight that balancing fight uh, while aligning your vehicle yeah. uh, another cool feature of this upper control arm it, it has a little bit of moving parts internally you have a plastic gasset on top over here that allows you to gain about 80 degrees of articulation on the ball joint okay so a lot more than factory that is correct okay. yep a little bit more than factory uh, maintenance on this is super super easy you have a greaser on top of the ball joint okay. which is recommended every old change you know at a, a two to five uh, three to five pumps of, of grease uh, always make sure to check the manufacturer's recommended grease which you can find uh, at SPC's website and also their unique design for the x-axis heim joint this design actually it's um it's a blend between a heim joint yeah. wrap on a on a rubber bushing so it gives you the the articulation of a heim joint but the quietness of an oem style bushing so these are pretty pretty cool super yeah. popular super yeah, super popular cool if you guys once we show you guys everything here this is probably the most unique thing that you guys will see um on this table at least. correct cool all right and then next um, we'll just go in order from left to right and talk about what we have. There are going to be, there is, might be one that we don't have here, but we'll show you guys that as well. So next up uh, this is yeah. the Icon. Icon okay. tubular upper control arm. They're very unique ball joint or uniball, we shall say, because this is kind of best of both worlds. Uh, if you notice on top, you have a stainless steel cap um, but inside you have a uniball style ball joint okay. so maintenance is very minimal uh, I mean all of these upper control arms at some point require some maintenance so but this one it's pretty much the maintenance of an SPC but the strength of a uniball uh, you also have on this one uh, you have 69 to 70 degrees of articulation okay. and a lot of strength um, polyutherine bushings on the back which are pretty nice and strong and they are a hundred percent greasable as cool. well and uh, oh, yeah. caster the holes on the bottom yep that is correct yeah you just screw the grease arcs in there and you are good to go cool. uh, caster is usually built on non-adjustable upper control arms is usually built in in the arm which we always recommend to take it to a really good uh, specialized off-road shop that it's you know he knows how to work with aftermarket parts so the alignment technician can bring that caster and camber back to where it needs to be yeah so basically you guys won't be able to take it to like a firestone or anywhere that does like a lifetime alignment really mm -hmm. because those are really good for like factory stuff once you guys get into aftermarket up control arms finding a shop that knows how to do an alignment with caster adjust adjustment so that way you guys won't be rubbing on your tire that's going to be a huge deal so um the other thing i forgot to mention all of them will have something similar to this right here mm -hmm. what is this for that is for your brake line a abs bre uh, line pretty much uh, if you notice on your factory upper control arm you have a little hook that it's holding a wire yep. so all aftermarket upper control arms they either have a hole yep. where you can relocate that little bracket or you can just transfer it to the uh, to these little screws over here so you, cool. you still mount your your abs line yeah 
So, and then you said this was patented, right? The patent, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Icon is the only one right now that uses the uh, Delta joint. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, and it's, uh, personally, I think it's best of both worlds. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Next up here, we have something that's kind of special, only because you can't really buy this anywhere. You have to get it directly from them or a local shop like Running for Tacos here where you can order it have it installed here but it wouldn't we it won't be on our website so they kind of control that but they make a very very good upper control arm and it's very unique as well with the red color so you go can you explain a little bit about these guys yeah absolutely so jba a fantastic and also it's becoming really really popular in the toyota world mm -hmm. a lot of guys really like this upper control arm so that's why we started selling them yeah. so these guys actually manufacture their own, own ball joints and what after you know reading a little bit on them uh they claim that you can get 90 degrees of articulation of the ball joints which actually is true it has a lot of articulation That's crazy. so yeah really really cool also to replace the ball joints it's super super easy you only have four screws on top uh the ball joint it's fully regreasable you can see the zerk up here yeah. and uh again you know make sure you follow the uh, manufacturer's uh spec and they offer two upper control arms this is the uh, heavy duty and the 120 is holding that's a standard duty but the difference on these two arms they they provide you of the same amount of caster mm -hmm. um again you know take it to a really good uh, specialized alignment shop uh this one we were noticing the tubing the materials are slightly thicker yeah. and it has gassets at the ends yeah so you guys can see the size difference in the tubing this one's a little thinner this one's beefier there's also gussets mm -hmm. on top right up here near the uh the bushings but uh yeah both very strong correct i will describe these two as the one you're holding the standard duty you know for the daily driver uh weekend warrior type thing that likes to tackle easy moderate trails conservative speeds and i will definitely uh recommend the heavy duty for somebody that daily dr uh, daily drives the vehicle and also has a little bit more of a that likes to beat it up basically exactly <laughs> exactly basically. yeah so you got two options pretty much yeah this one the spc we're gonna go back to spc also this one will be for somebody that daily drives and takes it really really easy on, on uh on trails because they are mainly designed for adjustability yep and we'll talk about what you know experience that we've had with them mm -hmm. um with all of them and uh, we'll go through that at the end so make sure you guys stay all the way till yeah. the end next up we have dirt king so if, if you guys look here this one the total chaos the camberg the dobinsons they all even to the uh, jba very similar tubular design and everybody knows well all these manufacturers knows that the tubular design is definitely strong right? correct um so that's why that's the main reason why they all do tubular yeah this one the uniball is a little different or mm -hmm. the ball joint the is ball joint different. yeah yeah the reason why is because they use a mood ball joint okay. which it makes it easier for the customers that you know they're on a road trip or in the middle of nowhere yeah. something happens to the ball joint or it's failing it's about to fail you can literally stop on any auto parts store and you can replace it on the fly i mean you need special tools but it's yeah. doable it's easier to find a uni ball for sure now another reason why they do tubing uh, material on the tubing uh, design on the upper control arms yeah. because he helps you actually with larger diameter shock bodies or wider springs at full droop you know there is some um, upper control arms that usually like to make contact with the spring mm -hmm. but once you go with a tubular design you have a little bit more clearance at full droop so that way the upper control arm that's make contact with the springs gotcha. that's also another reason very smart yeah yeah and these dirt kings also have gussets right up here on the top too just like all the other ones there so very smart of dirt king to make a moog in well incorporate moog ball joints into their up control arms for that specific reason that's right i didn't even think about that that's so smart you can literally go to a, any auto parts store yeah and replace that if you need to yeah. um, on the fly. Now, Dirt King does have another version, which we don't have here, but I'll put it on the screen for you guys to see. That one is very different than what you guys will see here and, and what's on the market. 
That one is a box design. It also has a Heim joint at the end. Um, do you know anything about those ones? Yeah, so the box design, actually it's completely different design from their tubular uh, UCA. So their box design is mostly racing or heavier duty off-roading oriented mm -hmm. because you have the hind bearing joints at the end and it's also adjustable and also uses a uniball instead of, instead of the, uh, the MOOC. standard MOOC ball joint. So therefore it's a little bit stronger, it gives you a little bit more suspension travel and of course the strength and a, a little bit of more adjustability. So okay. yeah. And I look at the price of those and they're actually not bad. Not bad at all. Not for bad at all. Being a box design. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's probably like one of the stronger uh, up control arms. Definitely. It's unfortunate that we don't have this here, but um, we might do a whole separate video on that one later down the road if you guys are interested. But let's go ahead and move on to the mm -hmm. next one. Yeah. This one here, we use and sell a lot of these and it's probably one of your favorites, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is the Total Chaos up control arm tubular. Gut sits on top, little tab for the uh, uh, brake line. Um, Want to talk a little bit about these? Sure, absolutely. So Total Chaos, you know, they are pretty legendary when it comes to racing, long travel. They're one of the pioneers when it comes to long travel and yeah. strength. So they use a stainless steel one inch uniball. It provides you 69 to 70 degrees of uh, articulation on the uniball. Their uh, upper control arm is insanely strong. <clears throat> they use a polyutherine bushing, uh, which is fully greasable. You can yep. see the holes over here. You, yeah. the, uh, you just need one of these right here, mm -hmm. goes in there. That is correct. And then, you know, follow the manufacturing instructions. To, in order to grease a lot of these bushings, you'll have to lose the through bolt. Just two, three turns, maybe four, uh, a couple pumps of grease. Don't let the poly polyutherine bushings get deformed. As soon as you see it moving, that's when you stop greasing them. And then tie them back to, uh, to a spec, which he, I believe it's 85 foot pan of torque on the through bolt. And you don't really need an alignment after re-greasing your bushings. Now, these are very high performance mm -hmm. upper control arms. So the higher performance components you add to your vehicle, a little bit more maintenance is required. So make sure you stay on top of your maintenance. If you take care of them, you know, naturally they're gonna take care of you and you shouldn't have any problems. Okay. But these upper control amps are insanely strong. And like Twan said, these are one of the most popular upper control amps that we sell because you know, the style of off-roading that we do here in Colorado is more crawling. Mm -hmm. And we do have once in a while, a little bit of higher speed on washboards and stuff. Yeah. So uniballs, this is the good thing about uniballs that they won't fail. They will make a lot of noise before they fail, but it's not like the ball joints that, you know, after several years or after a few months that you don't maintain them, the ball joint actually collapses and breaks yeah. pretty much. But actually, he, we have one over here. Let's show him the, uh, the uniball. These uniball have seen a little bit of action, but it never fell. I don't know if you can hear it yeah. uh, rattling. So you're going to hear that. You're going to hear this rattling on your front end. That's a, the uniball letting you know that it's time to be replaced. Yeah. Also, with uniball style upper control arms, mm -hmm. they have a really thin layer of Teflon between the, the ring and the ball, the actual ball. So make sure you keep this always clean and lubricated. We recommend TriFlow, yep. which is a dry lubricant that doesn't attract dirt or mud or anything like that. Yeah. So once in a while, make sure you know you lubricate these uniballs accordingly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Camberg is the other one. Yeah. So this, these uniballs, you guys will hear a lot of stories online of them being loud. And a lot of it is because people aren't using the dry lube, spraying mm -hmm. it. I used to spray it all the time because I don't like to hear that. Basically, every time I do an oil change or even more often, mm -hmm. once every couple weeks, yeah. you know, it just takes a quick spray and it just loses them up and keeps them quiet longer. Correct. So, Camberg. So, if you look at these, very similar to the Total Chaos, slightly different tab up here. The gusset right here is a little bit different as well. The grease zerk down on the bottom is the same. Um, can you tell us a little bit about these, if there's any? Yeah, so no. these are very similar to Total Chaos pretty much. And Camberg and Total Chaos are pretty much two legendary brands when they, it comes to racing. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to see a lot of them on trophy trucks because that's 
where they started, you know, into racing. Yeah. And um, so th when it comes to Uniball styles and stuff, you know, you can just engineer so much. So at this point, they start getting to look alike a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. But but different designs, like you can notice on Camberg bushings, the polyutherine bushings, they're slightly bigger. They're actually some of the biggest ones that we have over here. The reason why is because uh, more rubber naturally eliminates a lot of the vibrations transferred to the steering wheel. Okay. But at the same time, you know, same as the other ones, you need to grease them accordingly. So make sure you stay on top of the, uh, of the maintenance and you shouldn't have any, any problems. Now the ball joints are slightly, slightly bigger than the Total Chaos, but not okay. by much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, you know, these two Camberg and Total Chaos are the legendary Open control lines for aggressive style of roading or racing. Gotcha. Yeah. These two are the most well known, been around the longest. Correct. Right? Okay. That is correct. Yeah. Another one of the upper control arms that we don't have here is the Camberg billet upper control arm. Mm -hmm. Icon also makes a billet upper control arm that we don't have here as well. Basically, they are similar to the Dobinsons, you know, full aluminum billet upper control arms. It looks different, obviously. But you guys get the point. It's uh, is it stronger, if or if it's billet? It is lighter. Okay. Lighter. Uh, I wouldn't call them stronger because most of them are made out of aluminum. Yeah, that's why. Of I course, steel it's stronger than aluminum. But uh, you know, it's uh, in this case I will sacrifice a little bit of weight, but you gain the adjustability. That's so true. at okay. some point, you know, you gotta you gotta balance yeah. of what you're looking for. So the main purpose to get a Camberg or an Icon build it up control arm is to mm -hmm. save a little bit of weight. Correct. And have the adjustability, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. But probably about the same strength. That is correct. Okay. Now, one thing that uh, I want to mention about Durking, Total Chaos, and Camberg, these three manufacturers, they also fabricate and design lower control arms. Yes. Yeah. And we might have a whole separate video for you guys mm -hmm. for the lower control arms because these are all factory length um, a suspension um, well not factory but you're, you're getting a lift out of it mm -hmm. but it's not a long travel suspension so once you go into the low control arms one of the main reasons why most people do it is because they are going long travel so whole different video that we'll guys we will make um, later down the road for you guys so stay tuned for that now let's talk about Dobinsons Dobinsons yeah okay. another brand that gained a lot of, of uh, popularity in the yeah. last couple of years really great product another these guys actually did almost the same as their king yeah the bulgeon that they use is a triple five which you also can find on any auto parts store okay it's right there so this will be kind of considered your entry level upper control arm same as the uh, spc or the standard duty uh, J, uh jba okay. or the mook ball joint dirking okay. so these three will compete head to head okay now uh that's one of the really cool things like i said any auto parts store just uh give them your vehicle information request this part number triple five that's and cool. run to the uh, any shop can re replace a ball joint. Yeah. But one of the things actually that grabbed my attention on these upper control arms is the bushings that they use. They use uh, as close as possible to an OEM style bushing and it's really soft and flexible. Mm. So out of all of these uh, upper control arm bushings, yeah. these will be the softest ones. So these will give you like an OEM style right quality. So it'll ride like factory correct now will it sound like factory because i know these can get a little bit loud correct even just a little bit mm -hmm. so these will be probably the most quiet super quiet okay super super quiet and holding this with my hand i can tell this is the diameter of this one is pretty big yeah i think it might be as thick as a heavy duty it's it's actually a little bit bigger mm -hmm. than the heavy duty jba so obviously that adds more strength that is correct and also has gussets too yeah very cool yeah so it has that uh, little um stud right here for the factory um abs or brake line right mm -hmm. there correct. now let's talk about the dobinson's billet oh, yeah, the so billet. these we actually just put on our forerunner our 2016 toyota forerunner it uses the same triple five that is correct ball joint okay there is a cap on top that is removable. Yeah. We'll just go right up there. Okay. 
And then these are adjustable, right? That is correct. And the cool thing about this upper control arm, so they use the same bushings, yeah. same ball joint, but the, uh, they are adjustable. And the cool thing about these is that you can adjust it while they're in the vehicle. Oh. So that's really, really cool. That is so cool. So you don't have to take them off. Like uh, sometimes on the icon billet ones, you have to remove it because the threads on the um, on, by the bushings, they yeah. get uh, dirt or they, they're a little too old. Mm. So you have to take them off. Uh, same with the Dirt King, same with the Camberks. But these ones actually are really, really cool. Yeah, because uh, we I watched as the techs were adjusting this on the alignment machine and they didn't have to remove it at all, mm -hmm. which is very nice. Exactly. But obviously, after a little bit of a while, do you think these will get just as dirty as the other brands? Yeah, they will for sure, yeah, okay. they, they will, especially off-roading, water crossings, yeah. mud, snow, rain, and all that stuff. But this is when you need to be responsible, you know, and take care of your, your vehicle Just once in a while. It. Yeah, don't forget about your aftermarket parts. Thank they do well. require, exactly, they require maintenance. So try to keep your aftermarket components as clean as possible. So that way, in the, uh, in the long run, you don't have to, uh, to pay for like a three, four hour alignment because now the technician needs to take them off to clean them for you. Gotcha. So keeping your stuff clean, it will save you tons of money in the future. Um, Total Chaos also makes an adjustable uh, upper control arm. Mm -hmm. It's the same exact design, but at the end they offer hind bearing joints that are also adjustable. Yep, so, so I will throw that on the screen since we don't have that. But essentially, the tube's the same. Tube is the same, yeah. All joints the same. Yeah. It's just the ends. Are just hand. the ends, exactly. They're hand bearing joints and they're adjustable, just like the Dobinsons. Okay. It's still, you know, the same strength. So that would be their higher end version? That will be their higher end version, gotcha. yes, sir. Okay, very cool. Yeah. So do you know why Total Chaos doesn't make a billet? You know, uh, I talked to them, super cool people. I love the guys at Chaos. Um, you know what, like this saying, if it's not broken, why fix it? You know, so That's this true. is, you know, the pioneers, they nailed yeah. the design and it works fantastic. Yeah. So, okay, very yeah. cool. All right. Now, for the final, I guess, question, which one would be right for you guys, right? So again, we'll start from one side, go to the other. Mm. SBC, this was basically my first upper control arm and a lot of people's first because we installed a ton of these. And I think the main reason would be the adjustability Correct. for anybody who wants to go oversized tires. Correct. Um, and their quietness, right? That is right. Okay. Well, as you guys can see here, it's, it's not a tubular style like the other one, so it's not as strong but it is great for adjustability. So would you recommend this one to basically anybody that is a weekend warrior, daily driver, um, light trails, is not really trying to go fast and hit obstacles hard? Mm -hmm. Correct, yeah, this okay. will be perfect for like the daily driver, like you mentioned, weekend mm -hmm. warrior that is super conservative on the trails because you gotta keep in mind, SPC is not an off-road company, it's an alignment company. Correct. So they, their main focus on these upper control arms was alignment, mm -hmm. to bring your spec back to factory and fit larger tires without sacrificing your alignment specs. Now, I personally also use SPCs yeah. for about nine years. Recently, I just upgraded to Total Chaos. The reason why is because my forerunner started getting heavier and heavier, and I was putting a lot more stress on those ball joints. Gotcha. So that's another really good thing to, uh, to talk about. Mm -hmm. The weight on the vehicle, you know, light duty, and then you have your heavy duty upper control arms. The weight that you add to your vehicle also gets transferred to your suspension components, gotcha. you know? And if you go off-roading, cross an obstacle, or, you know, hit a rock, it happened to all of us. Oops, I didn't see that rock. The ball joint is gonna suffer, you yeah. know? And you're gonna damage it way sooner yeah. than the and average. Also, we, we, uh, we replace the X-axis quite often too, because people have too heavy of vehicles as well. Exactly. Right? Gotcha, okay. Well, there you guys have it for that one. Now, for the Icon, the Dirt King, Total Chaos, um, Camberg, Tubular, and I would say the Dobbinsons mm -hmm. as well, or maybe even the JBL standard. Yep. Okay. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, what do you would recommend these two? So it depends, different animals. Icon, um, like, 
All these software control amps have the caster built into them. Mm -hmm. Icon, I believe it gives you 2.5 to 3 degrees of caster with a really good alignment. Okay. Um, but the Delta Join actually grabs my attention a lot because of the strength. Yeah. Uh, JBA, they manufacture their own ball joints, which they do have them fairly available all the time in case if you need them. Yeah. Um, but strength-wise, mm, it's a tough, a tough call. A tough, one? A tough one, yeah. Okay. So to me, when I think of the Delta Joint, I was like, that's probably one of the best mm -hmm. of both worlds situations, yeah. like you were saying. Yeah. Having a sealed ball joint basically a sealed uniball inside and it's greasable. Correct. It's amazing. Exactly. But the JBA has the caster, the high caster. Correct. So basically you get a really high caster adjustment out of these, which you will need for those oversized tires all the way up to a 35 inch tire. The only thing you have to worry about when you are selecting these ones would be the wheels right that is correct yeah so if you look at the design i don't know if you guys can see it by the ball joint the jbas have a little lip mm -hmm. sticking out so make sure yeah here down here these ones are a little bit more flush and they have a little wing on the bottom mm -hmm. so make sure you have the proper wheels to use the jba upper control arms you know the proper back spacing the proper offset usually is recommended four and a half to five inches of back spacing mm -hmm. zero offset or maximum if you don't want to do a body mount job maximum minus 12 offset okay yeah so that way the sidewall of the tire is not rubbing on the upper control arm yeah so basically you would need a slightly more negative caster or a ne more negative offset, offset to get away from this so your tire is not going to rub on this section here. Exactly. Especially if you're doing a 35, this, the 35 inch tires will be sticking a lot out from the wheel itself and it'll rub for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Dirt King. Now, is that a good entry level upper control arm or is that it is actually a really good uh, entry-level upper control arm. I think I will put the Durkin with the Dobinsons because Dirk they use Dobinsons. the ball joints are super, super similar. Okay, so these two together, Dirk yeah. King, oh, Dirk King, Dobinsons. Okay, these two would put you put head to head. Yep, I will put them head to head. Okay. Yeah. I really like that they use ball joints that you can pretty much find anywhere mm -hmm. for easy um, replacement when you need to. Now, yeah. for heavier duty stuff, you think the Uniball? Uniball. The yeah, that's for uh, heavier duty off-roading, heavier duty type driver, a really heavy vehicle, you know, somebody that likes to go have extra fun on the trails. Okay. Definitely Uniballs, for sure. And as you guys can see here, this one has been beaten mm -hmm. and abused. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and the and this is only store. a year old and it's not supposed to be this loose so yeah. um, if you guys are one of those drivers that like to go fast that just likes to hit everything harder mm -hmm. than you should get something like uh, one of these two that has a stainless a steel uniball correct um or even their higher end version with the heim yeah. or the billet yeah that is correct now the difference on driving experience you know with everything that it's oem style ball joint it doesn't really change much you still have that really nice uh heavy weight on the steering wheel uh depending on your caster of course mm -hmm. but uh when you drive a vehicle with uniballs you are going to notice that your steering it's so much tighter it's super responsive gotcha. you know it's more like race truck like you okay. know like you barely touch the steering wheel and the truck just wants to go just aim and go okay so that's a, the really nice thing i personally like from uniballs super yeah. responsive tight steering and yeah, and I don't like my steering wheel kind of loose. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it drives like a car, basically, if it's loose. Mm -hmm. And some people like that. When I made the switch to uh, Uniball style, it definitely feels tighter. Yeah. Yeah. It, it got mm -hmm. some getting used to, but after a while, I definitely liked it more. It just feels like it's more responsive. Yeah. And you're able to go down, because I like to go down you know, leaving a trail really fast mm -hmm. because I know where the obstacles are already. So I'm usually going down it pretty fast and having it tight. And that way the steering wheel is not like this the entire time is really mm -hmm. nice. That is correct. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, billet. Yes. This is, you know, the billet Dobinson's the billet 
um, Camberg, the Billet Icon, or the Heim Total Chaos. For those types of up control arms, mm -hmm. who would you recommend those to? Somebody who? who I mean. Obviously, they're very expensive, so you have to have uh, saved up a lot of money yeah. or just have to have a lot of cash Correct. to begin with. Yeah, so for all, all of these brands are fantastic. I will go for a, having the parts accessible. Mm -hmm. I will go with Dobinson's because a triple five ball joint, you gotcha. know. Uh, if I do Total Chaos, uh, me personally, I have a little stash of extra parts like bushings, uni yeah. balls and stuff just in case. So I will put Total Chaos 2 if you can afford to have a little secret stash. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, I will put Icon Billets. Icon Billets. Yeah, Icon Billets because the Delta joints are a little bit harder to find. Yeah, a uh, lot of off-road shops do have them, yeah. but that's when you need to make a phone call to your local off-road shop and hope that they have them in the stock. Now, <laughs> the, now the Icon Billet has the same Delta joint in it? Yes, cool. that is correct, yeah. All right, um, very cool. And the Dirt King, the box, version yeah that one has is it a one inch uniball? it is a one inch uniball okay. yes sir so that one be very similar to basically a camber exactly um, build it right correct okay. exactly with himes at the end too and and it's also adjustable okay yeah very cool all right guys i think we covered pretty much everything if you guys have any questions be sure to call us uh, we are in denver colorado hugo will most likely answer your phone call or celeste or somebody up front um, if you guys have any questions at all, if you guys want parts getting installed or just have questions at which one would be best for you guys, let us know. We'll be here. And uh, thank you so much for your help, Hugo. Anytime. Thank it. you. All right, guys. We're going to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Take care.